Hey, Hickok45, I want to thank you all who took part in the Million Man March. What? You don't remember it? You don't know what I'm talking about? You seem a little perplexed. Well, you were probably in the march. You were probably there. Yes, yes, you were probably there, all right, because now that we have uh, over a million subscribers, there's a very good chance that you, individually and collectively, were part of the march. You are part of the march, right? I know, being funny, huh? But it is kind of a march. You know, uh, if you own a gun, you like firearms at all, you plan to own a firearm, you even keep up with the firearms world enough to subscribe to our channel and others, then you're, you're in the march, so to speak, you know, for, for rights, for, for gun rights, we always say, but not just gun rights, it's a freedom issue, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, people use the term gun control a lot, and it's really not gun control, it's people control. We know that, we have lots of politicians and groups of people who wanna control everything and micromanage the world. So in a lot of ways, the, the movement that you're in, you're a part of, the march that you're involved in, uh, that John and I are involved in, and friends of mine, all of us are involved in, it's, uh, it's more of a freedom movement, the way I look at it, you know, for the Bill of Rights, you know, for the Second Amendment, for all rights, for all people. So, but anyway, it's kind of a march. We look at it that way. My apologies to you ladies now. <laughs> we have lots of ladies that watch, I know. And, uh, and youngsters, maybe you're not men yet, but we just couldn't resist the alliteration. You know, Million Man March is just too tempting, isn't it? So it is kind of a Million Man March. We're glad you're on the march with us because it's an important march. We're having a lot of fun on this march, and we appreciate so many of you participating in this march. And so kind of think of it that way. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. We try to provide entertainment and education, but then on the other hand, it's a kind of a serious matter to us and to a lot of you, I know. And if you buy a firearm, you become more and more interested in the hobby that you see reflected here on this place you see it quite often, you're gonna to begin to take that a little more seriously too. So, so uh, it's a fun march, but it's kind of a serious march. You know, it gets right down to the basics of uh, you know, human freedom and, uh, and those sorts of things. Whatever country you're in, you don't have to be a member of a citizen of the United States to, to kind of see it this way. I think you could be living somewhere where you don't have a second amendment, of course, but you know, if you're, you're doing what you can to support the cause and you're a member of groups that are uh, doing what they can. I know in Germany, you've got the German Rifle Association. I've communicated with, with you folks and, you know, people of Australia, people all over the world are working on this issue of freedom. And we know what happens in countries quite often if you study history and uh, history and politics what happens when you have a disarmed citizenry, right? They're not citizens, they become subjects. So not to get too political, but uh, it is a march of sorts. And uh, we are so pleased to have a million of you with us on this march. It's, uh, it's just amazing. Now what we're gonna do, uh, just have a little fun today. I'm gonna take a couple of shots at this plate that's been hanging there for, I don't know, a couple of years. <laughs> I don't know how long we've had that on the, on the range. and. We're gonna send that baby to eBay. We're gonna make it, uh, we're gonna put some dents in it, okay? Just to make it more valuable with a, guess what? A Hickok 45, 45 Glock. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna put it on eBay and then we're gonna talk about where the proceeds are going, okay? Going to buy me a dinner at the finest Chinese restaurant in Nashville. Now, let's go ahead and take a shot at it and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the Glock. Happens to be in 45 caliber, Glock 41 specifically. Big old 230 grain, 45 caliber, hardball. How's that for appropriate? All right, let's dress that thing up a little. Bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to empty it on there. And I did. Okay, I'm gonna go out and see if I actually hit it. Oh, I think I did. 
Uh, there's a few hits on it anyway, even though it was trying to move around on me. Oh, property of the Holiday Inn. No, just kidding. So that's going to go on eBay. Let's take it back up to the shooting table and shoot it some more. No, actually, we won't. We don't need to take it back to the shooting table. We can stay right here with it. So John won't have to walk backwards. He's never good at walking backwards. <laughs> no, he's excellent at walking backwards. Uh, but again, uh, John and I thought it'd be kind of nice uh, uh, to kind of mark the occasion, uh, the, the milestone, to do something uh, kind of fun and to, uh, to support the march we're all on too, to some extent, and remind us all that we are on a march. If we are gun owners planning to own guns, uh, we want to maintain these rights and do whatever we can. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on eBay. And whether it makes, I'll pay the shipping, or this heavy thing, because I usually do, pay the shipping on all these things. And uh, if it sells for 50 or 100 or whatever it sells for, or five bucks, I'm gonna split up the uh, proceeds. I don't think eBay will let me go ahead and designate like it does with the food bank, you know, sending money to the NRA <laughs> or any of those organizations. It might, I don't think it does. But I'm gonna send it to, uh, split it up among the uh, Gun Owners of America, the NRA, and the uh, Second Amendment Foundation, all three of which I belong to, okay? I'm a member of the, all three of those organizations as well as the Tennessee Firearms Association. And, uh, you know, we argue about all the politics of these various organizations and this one doesn't do that right and this one won't send me my hat and this one doesn't compromise and that one does compromise. You know, they all uh, serve a purpose. They all are doing something good for the cause or I tell you what, if it weren't for those organizations, I probably would not have this gun in my holster right now that holds 13 rounds, even in Tennessee. Okay, that's the reality of it. So, uh, at least not legally. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't be showing you on camera, right? Uh, so, pick your poison, pick your organization. I encourage you to act locally as much as possible. Uh, you probably have a state organization and yeah, maybe you start there and then pick one of the national organizations. You don't have time to lobby your, your senators and your representatives as much as, but you can certainly pay somebody to do it. And that's, that's not bad either. Okay. Make your calls and everything, but we all need to be in the fight to some extent. There's a lot of people pulling the wagon and uh, a lot of my many, many, many more riding in the wagon, you know, as we say, being pulled by the rest of us. So get out of the wagon and pull a little bit, even if it's something small, you know, let's help the cause as much as you can. So uh, I'm not going to advise you which organization to join, where to send your money, do whatever you can. If it's write letters, do something, talk to your representatives, make a lot of phone calls, do whatever you are best at. Okay, make videos, you know, whatever you do you think might help, that would be good. And uh, we're going to put this on eBay. And, uh, <laughs> it's, and uh, you know, again, the contributions to that, whatever it sells for, will, will be split among those three national organizations, and uh, we appreciate it. And the only other thing I guess I have to say is uh, it's a pretty day. No, John and I are really, we're humbled, I think, by the fact that, that so many people have tuned in to our channel, watched a video, part of a video, 10 videos, whatever it took, and clicked on subscribe. Yeah, you know, we've never really talked about subscriptions much. We just make videos and uh, you know try to make videos that are worthwhile and people seem to come and seem to like at least most of them. Uh, don't know why with a crazy man, you know, on camera so much, but, uh, but we really were really humbled by the fact that so many people have clicked, you know, subscribe. I mean, it's still, it's perplexing. Uh, we're we're just uh, kind of overwhelmed by it, and uh, like I say, we're humbled by it. You know, it's just who knew, but we appreciate all of you, and we're going to continue doing what we've been doing. And uh, you know me, I'm going to be shooting, whether there's a camera out here or not, because I've been doing it almost all my life. So anyway, glad that we had some fun with you all watching, and uh, watch for this jewel on eBay, and uh, life is good.